And waiting for the go-ahead here. First ever meeting. And it's underway, controlled by the Yellow Jackets. Miles Kelly feeds it off to Amari Abram. Kelly down the left side. And Tajon Claude has it swatted by Max Brooks. He's led the American East Conference, John, in blocks each of the last two years. Now, last week, Coach Stoudemire noted that Ndongo could be as back as soon as the Cincinnati game next week as Debo Coleman off the bench. Debo in the opener against Georgia Southern had 17 points. He was the spark plug off the bench and really got the Jackets going. Down low, Koulibaly, triple team. So the Yellow Jackets have cut it to one. And a heave down low. Good inside out. Reeves a three. Another rebound for Claude. And he works his way. That's a blue collar two right there. Timeout called by Coach Damon Stoudemire. Off the knees of Morris. Read and react. Yeah. Uh, you're going to stay in a pattern, and there's reads and reacts off what the defense does. Mincy falling away. His three pointer won't fall, and saved by Sacco. Sort of on. Let's it fly. And it would take now one of eight from three point land. Riverhawks 0 of five from distance. Another three. Just short. Georgia Tech with that shot now one of eight from beyond the arc. Coleman hits. Make it two and nine. Settled in here. Some space for Mincy. That one too strong. And Coleman going against Brooks once more. Dumps it off to E.B. Dewana. And it's a soft rim on the Yellow Jackets side. 16-0 run for the Yellow Jackets. And a nice give and go there. A keen scoreless drought for UMass. Seven and a half minutes. Man, that Brooks and a keen duo right there in the American East is impressive. Kowasi Reeves. That was sudden. Kowasi Reeves, though. Get up. The Macon, Georgia product. And a little bit of contact there between Coleman and Brooks. O'Connor going baseline. Akeem hook off the glass. Didn't know he had that in his bag. Fine huh? on the other side. Akeem going to the paint against the shot blocker. Nice finish. As you saw, 25 points against Dartmouth, a career high for Akeem. Abram trying to get it to Claude. And a jump ball. Won a national championship at the Division II level, of course, back in the late 80s. And Akeem, his floater won't go. Koulibaly, an offensive rebound, and there's two. Snapping a three-minute scoreless drive. Top performers returning on this roster. A guy that can get it done in the paint. Solid rebounder. Double-figure scorer. And just creates a steal that time. O'Connor directing traffic. The ball screen. Koulibaly walled off by Kelly. And so O'Connor has to hang, and he finds a way to make a tough shot. So here we go, Amari Abram at the point for Georgia Tech. UMass Lowell looking for just their second ever win over a Power 5 program. First possession for the Riverhawks. There's a ball screen. Akeem gets it, plus the foul. Tafara Gapari picks up his third in the opening 30 seconds. Got to have better awareness. Um, Ill-advised foul. Start of it, driving, hanging, leaving it short. Team will step back. Koulibaly on the freshman, Sacco. Making his presence felt in the paint. Tech looking to tie. How about take the lead? Yes! Timo Coleman, his third triple of the night. Sertivon taking on the freshman, Maxwell. They get the switch. And Sturdivant with a soft teardrop. Pretty. And Kyle Sturdivant's moves here. Yeah, the straddle dribble, side to side, the step through. That's a veteran. And he's coming through for the Jackets. He's now with 17 points. 
That's the second one. Things have improved for Georgia Tech offensively in the second half. They've also improved for UMass Lowell, though. They're shooting over 40%. Koulibaly down low. And he's going to have a chance for a three-point play. Going right from, they say, the nail at the free throw line. What you're doing there is eliminating weak side, the lob pass, and convert. Tough to In his fifth season of college hoops. Brooks finds O'Connor, who's wide open, left alone. And UMass Lowell has the lead. Flex cut on the baseline. And former ACC coach, uh, notorious for that action, Gary Williams at Maryland. That was a continuity offense. Yes, the flex. Sure was. Talking about continuity offense. This <laughs> may be the best ever with ACC ties, that Maryland flex offense. And Kula Bali, another opportunity for a three-point play. The Riverhawks, a 9-0 run. Kelly's got the rebound. Great contest by Reeves. He was there on the catch. Kelly denied. Jack is trying to snap a 10-0 run. Three-pointer, yep, Amari Abram. And O'Connor and these three-point plays becoming routine for UMass Lowell. Most beautiful execution. He turned down the double screen high. We don't see the action off the ball. There was a double screen set high. You can see behind the play. Georgia Tech team has been solid in the half court through two games. They haven't had to extend and, and take risks. So if they get down in this one, it'll be uncharted territory if they've got to extend the D and start trapping a little bit. They've been fairly conservative, principle-based defensively and doing a solid job in the paint. Step back. Oh, man, Akeem. The Riverhawks on the road looking for the upset win. Kelly's been ice cold tonight. Abram into the lane, a floater, and it's in. And his decision making's been pretty solid. He's taking high quality shots. He's not forcing it. It's kind of a veteran approach to the game. O'Connor trying to answer. Bucks. Lead is up to eight. That matches their largest of the night. Kelly can't buy it. He's now two. in single figures in terms of your deficit. O'Connor working against Kelly to the lane. He's bumped. He's got the basket and a chance for one more. Nothing at all. How about this? The contact, the finish off the glass on the way down. He's going to go to the line. Oh. Can Georgia Tech find their shooting stroke? Kelly going up. No. Batted high in the air and in. That's what you got to love about Miles Kelly for Georgia Tech. But they need stops. Can Akeem keep it going? He's got 24 points. Feeds to Brooks, who has it stripped. Coleman's got it. Great position defensively by Coleman, being there, ready for it. Can he get the three? Yes, he can! Guarded by Akeem, a fellow fifth-year senior. Coleman, another three. Yes, and the foul! Debo Coleman! Point play, you put a fourth foul on the shot blocker defensively, their best presence on interior defense. Another kick out, Morris, baseline, two to shoot. He goes up, he's got it, count it, the foul, Cam Morris. At great length, forced the pass at the end of the shot clock. It's great offense, UMass Lowell. Atlanta with a win. That foul on Tyjon Claude, his fourth. And he sinks his first free throw of the night. Coleman has been money tonight. Sturdivant drives to the lane and cuts it to one. Sturdivant, 10 seconds. Coleman doesn't have space. It's down to five. Sturdivant going up. It's smothered and blocked. And Reeves fouls with two seconds. Andres Fulgencio shooting. He was an 82% free throw shooter last year. Hits them both. No timeouts for Georgia Tech. Sturdivant catches it going towards the basket. He's got to go half court heave to tie. No, and UMass Lowell takes down Georgia Tech.